once again, folks on YouTube, folks on BookTube, folks on the tube. Welcome to Michael Romeo Talks Books. Today, I'm doing a tag, and it is, I guess it's kind of, it's kind of a tag. Um, it started when Bookjack did some content on books that destroy you and books that restore you. Right, find out before you knock down my chai bag. Come on, there you go. Um, and MJ, at reading this life, was quite taken by it and decided to weaponize it and turn it into a tag. It's cool, right? At the end of MJ's, she tags basically everybody who watches it. She's, this is a unique tag. As soon as I saw it, I thought, I want to do this tag. Um, I can see, see me coming up with some good answers, and I think I have. And this is the Have You Chosen Wisely book tag. Okay? And again, started by as a bit of content by Bookjack weaponized into a tag by MJ at Reading This Life. And what it is, is you pick three books that destroyed you and three books that restored you. Not necessarily in order. I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be like you read this one and it destroyed you and then you read this one and it picked you up. But you, you're pairing books that are troubling and comparing them to books that are uplifting okay and I have my choices here my first one for a book that destroyed me is Sophie's Choice by William Styron have you read it have you read this book oh my good god Okay. Brilliant writing. Brilliant writing. Oh my goodness. William Styron is, he has a magic pen or a magic typewriter or something. Um, just stunning writing. And the characters are vivid and strong and just they're, they come off the page and they're there in the room with you. And then, oh, I don't know, a little more than halfway through the book, you get to the title's reason, Sophie's Choice. And it's the choice that Sophie has to make. And not to give anything away, let's just say that it's happening during the Nazis in Germany. And the concentration camps and the Jews. And there is a scene at a train station where Sophie is there and a guard... A, a German Nazi guard or officer or whatever he is forces her to make a choice right there on the spot. And holy cow, get ready because the tears will flow. Okay? This is not a dry eyed read. Okay? And if it's not bad enough reading the book, like, you know, you would have thought, I read the book, it'd be bad enough, right? No, I went to see the movie when it came out, because I'm a Meryl Streep fan. And Meryl Streep plays Sophie. And then gets to that scene, and Meryl Streep being the actress that she is, she nailed it. And I'll tell you what, you could hear people crying in the theater, and sobbing in the theater. It was... Okay it destroys you okay sophie's choice by william styron now on the upside 
we have by Jan Karen at home in Mitford. At home in Mitford. It's the first book of a long series. I forget how many books are in it. 18, 19 books. I don't know. Lots of books in this series. And it is so ch chock full of nice people doing nice things for each other. Helping each other out. And not having no problems. But when problems arise, there's people there to say, Here, I'll hold your hand. Here, I'll help you take care of this. Here, I'm here for you. And it is such a contrast to a book like Sophie's Choice where there was nobody to hold her hand. There was nobody to help her. There was nobody to say, we'll get you through this. So the book that restores you when you need it is At Home in Mitford by Jan Karen. Start it, you'll read the whole series because it's that uplifting that comforting that it's 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 like Sophie's choice is hard whiskey and at home in Mitford is a nice cup of tea cream tea no, no sugar just cream secondly I'm gonna go to Goodreads for the, to get you a description for this one I thought I had already done it, but I guess I didn't. Um, it's a book by Walter Mosley. And if you don't know Walter Mosley, he started the Easy Rollins Mystery Series. But he also went on to write some standalone books. And right there. The one that destroyed me is The Man in My Basement. And let's see what... Book two, what book two has to say, what Goodreads has to say about it. Um, it's not, it doesn't say much. Hailed as a masterpiece, the finest work yet by an American novelist of the first rank, this is the mysterious story of a young black man who agrees to an unusual bargain to save the home that has belonged to his family for generations. Walter Mosley pierces long-hidden veins of justice and morality with startling insight into the deepest mysteries of human nature. Well, sounds fairly benign, right? It's not. Yes, he does agree to rent the basement of his house to this white man who has some special rules. He will pay to rent the basement of the house as long as the main character, an African-American man, agrees to this rule and this rule and this rule and this rule. And the spiraling effect of the story as it just goes deeper and deeper and deeper and darker and darker and deeper. This isn't a thick book either. Does it say how many pages is in it? 272 pages. This is not a thick book. But it packs a punch. And what it does to you at the end... I, I, I read the end of the book. And then I went, no, I didn't... I, I misunderstood that. I, I, I projected something there onto the page that wasn't there. And I reread the last few pages and... Yeah, he did that. He absolutely did that. He he has something happen that was a subplot of the story and just it was more of an atmospheric thing that you 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 know it's there, you you read it and you go okay and you move on. And then when it gets to the end of the book, it's like Wow. <laughs> he just sucker punches you. Um, the Man in My Basement.
by Walter Mosley. Walter Mosley is a powerful writer. Um, and uh, not not just with this, but with his Easy Rollins um, mystery series. And there's some other standalone books of his I haven't read yet that I want to read. Uh, he's delved into science fiction. He's delved into a number of different things. But The Man in My Basement by Walter Mosley will devastate you. Okay? It, it's, it's a tough book. So, to bring yourself out of that, I'm going to pair it with The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. And I don't think I have to say a lot about The Little Prince because... I think most people out there know about The Little Prince. It's about a little prince of his own little planet. And it's it's a sweet story. It's a one, one sitting read. Um, I wish I knew French so I could read it in the original language because I have told it is much better in the original language than it is in translation. And as good as it is in translation, it's got to be just spectacular in the original language. And I almost want to learn French just so I can read The Little Prince in the original. And thirdly, Book That Destroyed Me, Zombie by Joyce Carol Oates. And I've mentioned this one before. Um, I did a review on it, as a matter of fact, at the time that I read it. Um, it is one of the most disturbing books I've ever read. Um, in that it puts you inside the mind of a serial killer. Well and truly inside the mind of a serial killer. She based it on Jeffrey Dahmer. And, um, Everything is from the point of view of the serial killer. Uh, and, not, not, and not just describing what's going on, but what's, what's he thinking? What's going on in his brain? And how it goes from subject to subject to subject. To, to, and it, it doesn't focus on anything unless it starts to focus on who's the next victim and Will the next victim work? Will the... Because he, he's trying an experiment here. And I'm not going to go into what it is. But he's just, he, his victims are the victims of an experiment. That he is trying because... He... Uh, he just so needs... Attention. And... These people die because of what he does, and you will never look at an ice pick the same way again. I guarantee you. Um, devastating book. I almost stopped reading it. I did. I actually stopped in the middle of the chapter, and I put it down, and I walked away and said, I don't know. I can't do this book. But Joyce Carol Oates. I mean, we know what a writer she is. She is... A spectacular writer and because of that I was drawn in and I had to find out how it was going to resolve itself and um, that one that that was a devastating book so to counter that one let's go to Bonchester Towers by Anthony Trollope book from the 19th century a uh, wonderful tale about People in a town, a town called Barchester, Barchester Towers. Um, and there are some nice people, there are some not nice people. But, but the situations are, aren't, there are no serial killers. There are no serial killers anywhere in Barchester Towers. Um. And the characters are delightful. Even the bad characters are delightful. Just with the way they're written. They're written so wonderfully bad. Um, so, those are my three. My three pairings. We've got Sophie's Choice. Paired with At Home in Mitford. We've got 
The Man in My Basement, paired with The Little Prince, and Zombie, paired with Barchester Towers. Three books that destroyed me, and three books that restored me. So, like MJ, I'm not going to tag anyone. Although, I will give a special challenge out to two people. Jolene at Bookworm Adventure Girl and AJ Dunn at AJ Dunn Reads and Writes. Because they do book pairing content. And I think ha having them do this particular exercise already in the book pairing mode would be a wonderful thing to see from both of them. Um, but everybody else, if you want to do one, do this one, come on and do it. It is, it, it's a little fun exploration about those books that devastate you and those books that lift you up and putting them together. Um, I'm glad MJ weaponized it and made it a tag so that other people could do it. And that's where we are with this one. So this is my second, I'm doing two tag videos for Tag Tuesday. This is my second one. Um, so don't get confused when you see two pop up from me on Tag Tuesday, because right now it's Thursday and I'm filming these. <laughs> and um, folks, just, just enjoy reading. Enjoy reading is a wonderful thing. And um, we'll chat at you later. We've got some great stuff coming up on the channel. So stay with us. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.